Hi, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So I'm going to try and pick up where I left off with the last video, where um, I was trying to... I don't understand why that's green. Why is that green like that? All the others seem to have a image of the thing I was building, but that's green. That makes no sense. Um, right. But yes, what I want to do, I think, for now, is modify my um, template. Because it's become pretty obvious that um, this Science Junior thing is no good. Um, I, I mean, it's great. Uh, it's just I don't... I'm not building something here that I want to recover at the moment. And it's designed to be recovered. So, it goes out. Um, what I want is something... What have we got? I don't want the service bay. I want something kind of more structural. Um, crew cabin, I don't need one of those just yet. Um, hang on, what have we got? Is there anything... Structural, that's what I'm after. Structural fuselage. It's a little on the large side. But maybe maybe that's kind of what I want. Actually no. No 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 no. Um what I maybe what I do want is service bay. Right, let's open the doors because I want to see where the doors are. And then what I'm going to do is stick a panel on there and stick a panel on there. Um, I think I can do better with these panels. Let's see if we can tidy these up as well. Oh, okay, almost had it then. Right, put one pan. Uh, of course. Oh, okay, well that's fine. Let's put them back manually, as it were. Actually, no, let's not. Let's just get rid of that. Let's. I get that many? Oh, oh, that was pretty. <laughs> I quite like that. Um, there, because that's all about the power. Okay, and then inside there, I'm going to stick. My, uh, I don't want billion thermometers. I just want one from... Ah! Not two. Right. I want one thermometer. Ah, oh, I've got this bloody rotating thing going on again, haven't I? Um, is that it? Ah, won't let me zoom in anymore. No, I don't think that's the right way around, is it? Oh, come on, you pile of... Have I mentioned in any of my videos just how annoying I find the build tools in Kerbal Space Program sometimes? Right, there we go. Right, let's put that over the other side. Now, I don't think the goo's really worth bothering with, but let's try it anyway. So I'm going to stick the goo in the middle. Right. That is amazing. So I want to save that.
Hang on, is that going to the... Right, save. Didn't ask me if I wanted to overwrite, which makes me think it's saved somewhere different. Oh my goodness. I really hate this user interface. Why is this user interface so bad? Like, so bad. Okay, I'm going to call this Robot Mark III probe template. So let's see if we can write. Because, oh, oh, now I can't make a folder because reasons. Well, there it is at least. God, I hate this. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. I hate this interface. Right. So there's that. Right, 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 right. I now want to... What do I want to do? Fuel tank. So we stick one of those on. And we stick a engine on that and then we stick a decoupler on and then we stick another fuel tank on and another fuel tank on and we go with that double engine and ignore the fact that it's just a little bit bigger than that we're ignoring that and then bugger which winglets did i have i think it was those wasn't it i'm gonna chuck winglets on there and chuck winglets on there and then it's fire that engine then decouple, then fire that engine. So I've basically recreated what I had in the previous video, towards the end of the previous video. I've just done it with a slightly different science package. Um, so let's call this Oh, keyboard's not playing. First rocket. And let's save that and launch. There has to be an easier way of managing your spacecraft, shall we? Right. Let's go full throttle. Hide that. So can get in the way. So far, so good. No tipping, no flipping, no exploding, no going sideways. Almost looks like a professional job. Slow down just a little bit. Kind of. Yeah. So yeah, just turning over ever so slightly. I'm trying to. So far, so good. Get ready to dump the first stage. Go, second stage fire up. Let's try and tear our way out of the atmosphere. Hopefully without heating up. There's no hint of heating up this time, is there? Oh. 
Let's turn ourselves over. I wonder how much those fins are actually helping now. Uh, right, let's see where we're at. Right, let's stop there for a second. So far, so good. Still got some fuel. I uh, realise I can't really check the state of the batteries, they're kind of hard to get at. There we, oh, there we go, yep, yeah, looking good. Looking good. So let's just speed up time a little bit and cruise up to the top. Need to be careful because I realise that cutting back the time isn't instant. There we go. Definitely takes a moment to go back to real time. Point prograde, and then we're just gonna get rid of the rest of the fuel. Just get as far as we can. We made an orbit because it spun round. Right, it's not as far out as it has been. But let's get as high up as we go. Oh, those two almost look like they're going to meet. around there. Right, how are we looking? So, what I'm interested in is, open the doors. So I want to bug the temperature. Oh, oh, hang on. Is it just because I, um, hang on, reset. Haven't extended the antenna. Please tell me it's just because I haven't extended the antenna. No. No, it's not going to let me transmit. Oh, what am I missing here? Reset that. Okay, it's going to let me transmit that. So let's transmit. Maybe um, with the temperature. Try again. With the temperature, it's just not an interesting location and so there's not really anything to transmit. Log that. Okay, again, yeah, maybe it's the same issue. Hmm, okay. Not great, but it's shown that the mystery goo is capable of being transmitted. Okay, I can't interact with the mystery goo anymore, so I've obviously used it up. Yeah, there's definitely nothing to do there. Um, go away. Right, I kind of wish I had a way of exploding these things. <laughs> I wonder if you can put a self-destruct <laughs> on them. So, can I make one? that will go further. Let's go back to the space center. Can I make one that's gonna go further? Yeah, this is where things have always got tricky. But what if what if, what if, what if? This might go horribly wrong, but let's try it. What if... I say... I want... Do we? 
wish there was a way of snapping this reliably. Those there. Put those there. And then, no, engines. Those there, they, I think they are, aren't they? Connected to the uh, the decouplers, and um, to those there. Right, let's have a look at our staging. Right, we're going to fire those first, and that's actually what I want this time. I want to save the main engine for higher up. Um, I'm going to add, so I want the top ones to separate f first, then fire that engine, then separate, then fire that engine. Oh, this could be a disaster. This could be where things start tipping again or whatever, but it's going to be fun. Right, let's go throttle up because we're going to want it eventually. Go. So hopefully we don't. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I know what I forgot to do. Uh, let's just revert to launch. <laughs> There's not much point in having um, that if we're not going to use it, right? Okay, go. So my thinking here is hopefully these boosters get us... Oh, it's starting to tip just a little bit. What's dragging it over, I wonder? Hopefully we can get through, use these to punch through most of the you know, the thickest part of the atmosphere. And then fire the main engine. I just want to get into deep space, really. Or deepish space. Okay, here we go. Release, release. Ah! Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm no better off. How do I, how do I release them without them blowing up? Yeah, how do I release them without them nuking my rocket? <laughs> uh, well, let's just keep firing this thing and see how high we can get. The planet's receding at quite a speed, that's for sure. It's doing quite well. Go, 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 little rocket. Go, go on. Right, that's it. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Well, let's um, cruise up to the top. This is going to be quite the re-entry. I mean, at least this one's not going to leave some debris in um, orbit. It's got that going for it. Let's real time. Let's extend the antenna. Open the doors. Oh, there's a planet. Ah, oh, it's 
quite a good shot actually. Um, what can we get? Okay, wasn't expecting anything from that. Not expecting anything from this. Oh, other than if I recovered it. What about the goo though? Ah, nothing from that either. Hmm. Okay. We. Nice. Well, at least that's tidied up. <laughs> There's nothing left. Um, right. Let's go back to the space center. So. Oh, don't tell me I got to rebuild all that again. I didn't save it, did I? Ah, oh, thank goodness. Um, how do I release? So apparently, releasing the top ones first is a bad idea. I need them to kind of push away. How do I do that? How do I do that? I mean, if in doubt. Winglets, right? Hmm, they're kind of small. Um, I want non steery ones. What about those? They don't look like they're going to go very straight. There we go. Do you think that's enough to drag them out? Let's go for it. All right, this this is turning into a how do we successfully separate boosters experiment. So I'm not even going to worry about the main engine. Go. This this is booster testing now. How do we successfully push the boosters off? Oh, I forgot to put the bloody... There we go. That was on purpose. It was all about getting a good... Um, uh, good little initial turn. Okay. Ah, come on, keyboard. Mm. So they all go nose in. Um, let me think. And I'm releasing the top ones first, but I figure whatever way I do it, the same thing's going to happen. So how do I? Having the winglets on doesn't really help. How do I get them to drop off without taking the rest of the thing with it? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, ponder, ponder, ponder. Wow. Oh my god, that's huge. That's even huger. Um, I'm just looking to see if I had, like, those little engines. Do they actually have... No, they're going to need their own... I was, I was just starting to wonder if I could do something ridiculous, like, you know, attach these to them and get them to fly off or something like that. Um, 
presumably they need their own fuel tanks. How do I get the boosters to bugger off? without taking my rock out. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Right. One thing I'm curious about is I probably don't need those there anymore. But what happens if I mean, it's worth a try, right? I'm also just thinking the order that I separate. Maybe I should separate together. So they all... Do they want to... Uh, I don't know. Let's try again. This is looking ridiculous now. Well, because I just want to send this really deep into space. How do I get the boosters to disappear without taking out my rocket? There must be a way of doing that. There's got to be a way of doing that. Okay, here we go, nearly time. Uh, fell on the keyboard. No. Okay, so the noses all go in. I want the noses to go out. How do I get the noses to go out? Um. Hmm. How do I get the noses to go out? Move that to the assembly building. What am I missing here? What am I missing? How do I get them to go out? I basically need the, the air uh, catch in such a way, presumably, it's an aerodynamic thing and I just need, which is what I was thinking about the winglets, you know, I need them to be dragged out from the top. Um, which is also why I was thinking releasing the tops first would help, because you'd think they'd lean back and then uh, maybe I... Let's try swapping them around. Release the bottoms first, then release the tops. I'm not convinced that's going to make a difference, but hey, let's just try all the options at this point. Okay. Go. Oh, forgot to. There we go. This is fine. I wonder if the angle that you're going at makes a difference as well. One thing that's interesting is it's definitely a lot more stable. It's not flipping over anymore, even though I don't have the wings. I kind of survived, somehow. Something blew up, but I'm not sure what. I think it was actually the um, decouplers blew up. Oh my god, we're surviving, kind of. OK. 
Okay, this was unexpected. Pointing a bit sideways. Top of that. I can see the booster going. Slow down. Let's go back. Turn prograde. And let's fire away. Let's see where we can make this take us. Looking like an orbit happening. Let's see how far out we can get this now. We can get it as far as the moon. Oh, as far as the moon's orbit. Oh, yeah, we can. And beyond. Okay. That's enough to escape Kerbin. So if I can figure out the um, problem with the solid boosters. Let's just extend the antenna. Um, yeah, if I can figure out the problem with the boosters, such that it doesn't try and blow my damn rocket up every time, I could have something going. I could have something along the lines of what I'm after. Okay, let's get ourselves out. Oh, I just want to focus on that. I want to focus on it. Bye bye, Kerbin. Oh, zooming away now. Where are we? Okay, kind of not quite beyond the... Ah, how do I... Stop. No, I don't... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I, w I just want to focus that spacecraft. How hard can it be? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. oh, this interface is so bad. I want to focus on that spacecraft. How, you know, like, wh why can't I just... Oh my God. Fair enough. Um. Right, seems to be doing it now. Right, as far as I'm aware, past the orbit of the moon. Where are we actually going? One's when we hit that point there. Ah, so we're actually in orbit around the sun. Cool. Right, let's slow down. I just want to see. Okay. 
Oh, why is it locked? Why is it locked? Oh, I've lost control of the spacecraft. Why have I lost control of the spacecraft? Oh, probably because I'm too far away from... Uh, no energy flow from the cells. Uh, don't tell me because they're all in shade. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Let's see if we can speed up and get some um, sunlight on them. See if that's a thing. Right, they're in direct sunlight, apparently. Ah, yes, so it looks like we've run out of fuel, but now, um, electricity, I should say. Actually got some signs we can transmit in high space over the sun. Go. Well, this feels like something of a victory. Oh my god, I've even got transmittable signs from that. <gasps> oh. And from that as well. Oh my god. Actually done it. Right. I want to rename this. Sun probe one. Cool. I actually got a working sun probe. And got science from it. Limited probe control. I see. That's interesting. Does that mean... Okay, I can close the doors again. But I can't... Yeah, I can't steer it. So does that mean... Um, I'm kind of out of range for that kind of thing? Or... Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But I did it. I did it. I got something away from Kerbin. And... Um, Managed to transmit some Is this actually still doing anything? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, we definitely um orbiting. Oh, that's actually really, really cool. Ooh, what are those unknown objects? What are these unknown objects? <gasps> oh, what's all this? Are we discovering stuff? Oh, that is interesting. Presumably I can't, um... Is this let me... Is this now racking up the... Oh! I got a cannot transmit, didn't I? No usable in-range comms devices. Did I actually transmit that before? I was. I saw the green text. I'm going to have to review this now when I um, uh, look at the video. But I was so caught up in the fact that I was transmitting and saw some green text that I thought I'd actually managed to do this. But uh, presumably I'm too far away from Kerbin now to actually um, get a transmission back. <laughs> It's not one thing, it's another. Look, it's just there. It's not that hard. You just got to transmit from there to there. Okay, fair enough. There's no signal. 
Ah, fair enough. I wonder if um, I can transmit when we come back round again. Although, <laughs> as for when we're going to actually come back round again, that's an interesting one. So I'm actually getting out further than... Oh, uh, these are the different planets, aren't they? But they're showing as unknown objects because presumably I... Is that one of the planets? It must be. Oh, no. Oh, no, there it is. Um, are these asteroids or something like that? I have no idea. I have no idea. But it's fun. Right, I'm going to go back to the space centre. Okay, I kind of feel like that was a sort of a success ish. I ooh, did I increase my science? I don't know. Um, well, that's something. Right. Um, let's just make sure that that's saved. I still need to figure out this business with the um, boosters though. I've got the start of something that's going to work here, but I need to figure out this booster situation. How do I separate the boosters without blowing up my rocket? I feel I got lucky that time. I'm not sure I'd be able to redo that every time. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try it. I also feel, I think I said this towards the end of the last video, I also feel that I I don't want to keep going down this route and getting so obsessed with getting these unmanned probes going that I'm actually, I should really be um, doing something again with uh, with the Kerbals and getting them into orbit. So maybe in the next video, or next but one video, I should f get back to that and focus on that. But anyway, that's enough for now. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.